Imagine this. Hideo Kojima and Shiro Miyamoto sit down to have a lunch together in 2003. Besides solving world hunger and creating an infinite clean energy system, they also talk about bringing the Metal Gear Solid series to the GameCube. Instead of developing a brand new game for the Little Purple Lunchbox, Kojima saw this as an opportunity to refine the original Metal Gear Solid by adding in elements that were first introduced to the series in Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. The game was developed by Silicon Knights and overseen by Kojima and Miyamoto, and thus was created Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes. This is a complete remake of the original Metal Gear Solid. All the cutscenes, all the voice work, and all the graphics, everything got a complete extreme makeover. The gameplay has also seen some new improvements and addition. All the things you can do in Sons of Liberty, it doesn't sound like it would change all that much, but like adding bananas to your cereal, the end product just has something that can't be described. The addition makes this a completely new game. You can see the world of Shadow Moses Island through the eyes of Solid Snake even more now, because, well, you can aim and shoot in first person. This adds a level of gameplay that the original just didn't have. Now, you will be shooting out security cameras and taking out enemies from balcony. Being able to do this also makes boss battles just that much better. I cannot describe how much better the boss battle against Revolver Ocelot is now that I can actually aim at him in first person and not just guess as to where he is. And not just with Ocelot, all the boss battles are better, which is saying a lot because Metal Gear Solid has some of the best. Psycho Manus now will read your GameCube memory card and list Mario and Zelda games, which is still as creepy as it was on the PlayStation. I'm again. Let's go. The only real weapon change is the addition of non-lethal weapons. You can now use the Trank Gun and play through the entire game without actually killing anyone, if you really wanted to. These are the major additions, but there are some other things as well, such as the ability to hide in lockers and climb over balconies, which are used very limited. Plus, all this looks great with GameCube graphics. Look, Snake now has eyes where those dark patches used to be. But with all these new abilities comes a new level of challenge. The guards apparently all went to the best optometrist before coming into this remake. They will spot you from across the room, and reinforcements will arrive faster than if they were having a genome army kegger. Also, now bodies won't just disappear after the life leaves them, so you will have to go out and hide the bodies. This is where those nice new lockers come in handy, because if the soldiers spot a dead comrade, they will enter a heightened caution mode. All this adds a new level of challenge than the original had. So, you have to play much more carefully than you did before, which makes you look at the game in a whole new way now. Old strategies don't work anymore, and new paths will be needed to go unnoticed. All these new additions, as well as the re-recording of the original story, makes this game a can't miss for anyone. Old fans of the series will be excited to see the story they love told in a whole new way, while new fans can start their love affair with it. With new ways of seeing the world of Shadow Moses, new Nintendo items hidden throughout, and retuned cutscenes, Twin Snakes is what I didn't think was possible, and that is an improvement on a game that was already one of the best. <laughs>